What Dreams May Come. That sounds like the title to a pornographic movie. Movie Club, you are on a roll. This movie was great and, and it pulled on my heartstrings. There were multiple times when my eyes teared up and that's when I decided to stop cutting the onions and actually sit down to watch the movie. No, but seriously, this movie was an emotional roller coaster. And I know it's cliche to say that, but I am an immigrant and cliches are pretty much the first thing they teach us. Well, that and bad words. Do I even have to talk about the acting? Yes, damn it, because it's incredible and it's fantastic. Every single actor in this movie seems real, which is a nice contrast to this fantastical world. Robin Williams, though, phenomenal. Every hair in his body screams out talent, and there is a lot of hair in his body. Most people know him as a comedian or an actor who plays exaggerated characters. But he's actually been in a lot of serious movies. He was nominated for four Oscars, one of which he actually won. And his performance in this movie was definitely Oscar-worthy, although you can't really be nominated every time. The visual effects were crazy good, simply perfect, which is why it's no surprise that they won an Oscar for their visual effects. I just loved it. Such a beautiful scenery, the bright colors, or even that dark hell. Such a scary, dark place. Which brings me to a different point. I believe in a different heaven and hell, but that doesn't mean I don't love the idea that is presented in this movie. I actually hope that heaven is a lot like this, especially because I am such a creative person. The idea of creating a whole world is it's just unbelievable. Which is why I love this movie so much. It has everything. It has drama, fantasy, action, comedy. It's the type of movie that leaves you thinking afterwards and those are the best types of movies. Also it's centered around a theme that I really love thinking about and that really makes me wonder sometimes. Real love. I don't really believe in soulmates to the extent that this movie presents it, but I do think that there is that one right person for each of us out there. I would recommend this movie to anybody who has a tender heart. Cause if you don't have a tender heart, you'll be like, what the hell is this man, I wanna see some titties. You really do have to be in the mood to watch this movie, you know, to really appreciate it. I do admit that halfway through the movie I stopped, but it was to find something to eat. But that's just because I like to eat when, when I get emotional. See you later, Coco Trial.